Hello there. Welcome to the Mando World. Welcome to the Mando World Studios. <laughs> Welcome to this episode of Baby Steps to Getting Close to God. Uh, we are done explaining every line of the Lord's Prayer and the last line about confessing our sins. Today we are talking about it as an episode. Yeah, that's how it is. So this is episode three of Getting Close to God. We are talking about confessing our sins. There is nothing that separates man from God apart from sin. In the, in the Bible history, when you read, it's sin that separates us from God. In uh, Isaiah chapter 1, um, verse 16 says, Wash and make yourselves clean. Take your evil deeds out of my sight. Stop doing wrong. 15, verse 15 says in chapter 1, When you spread out your hands in prayer, I hide my eyes from you. Even when you offer many prayers, I am not listening. Your hands are full of blood. Blood literally <laughs> means our sins, not that you have killed or we have done, but... So, when we are full of sins, God is not listening. So, sin separates us from God. So, one way of getting close to God is by confessing our sins every day of our lives. We confess our sins in the morning, in the evening. Don't wait for the day to go by. Because the same Bible talks about um, not letting the sun go down on our sins. You know why we should be ready all the time? We don't know when Christ will come back. As we wait for him, we don't know when death takes us. So, before he comes back, your death can be today. You never know when you are departing. So that's why we need to be ready so that we are never caught unaware. So we confess our sins every day. So confessing our sins is the most important, actually. Make sure your heart is clean. Make sure you have no evil thoughts. Yes, they all come. We do sin. We get angry. But make sure you make a habit out of confessing your sins every day. Uh, Isaiah chapter 1, we are still reading. Verse 18 says, Come now, let us settle the matter, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are as red, though they are red as crimson, they shall be like wool. If you are willing and obedient, you will eat the good things of the land. But if you resist and rebel, and rebel, you will be devoured by the sword. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. If you are willing and obedient, you will eat the good of the land. I love that. So, confessing our sins is for our own good. I am talking about people who are... Who really want to, to go to heaven someday? Who want to live with God in eternity? Who believe there is life after here? Who believe there are two places, heaven and hell? So if you are heaven-minded, confessing your sin will be your lifestyle. It's like we fall. We all fall every second. You even don't know when you, you sinned. So that is why... Um, there are so many sins that we commit and we do not know. So to me, when I'm confessing my sins, I even add on that those that I do not know because I know I commit them and I'm not aware of them. So we confess our sins every day. That brings us close to God because when we take out evil out of his sight, we are able to communicate with him, to commune with him, to get close to him as children, as princes and princesses that we are thank you so much for watching god bless you so much see you in the next episode shalom